Yo, what up everyone man? How we all doing? I hope everyone's good. Um, this video was requested by F22 Raptor, who I will refer to as Raptor Man. If you haven't seen Format on Jacket, you won't get that reference. But he's a loyal subscriber man, he's been asking for a while and I forgot, so I apologise, but we're going to do it now. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. The history of India every year. I don't know when that's starting from, but let's go. Oh, so we're going to see like the Tamil kings and everything, I'm guessing. That's a cool part of history, if you don't know. Indus Valley. So, as far as I'm aware, India is one of the oldest... Well, up there with some of the oldest civilizations, along with, you know, China and Egypt. So is this parts of India that were colonised, is that what I'm seeing here? The rest of these, there's people but not been colonised. Not colonised, sorry, I mean colonised by Indians, like, claimed as Indian land. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I didn't mean colonised by Britain, I didn't mean that. Oh, okay. Things are changing so quick, I can't even comment. Okay. Damn, so these were rolling for a while. I didn't know Indians done things by dynasty. I just thought that was a Chinese thing. I know what a, a dynasty is, you know, multicultural is, you know, a family and that, but I thought that the, the word dynasty was a Chinese word. You know, I never knew there was an Indo-Greek king kingdom. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I had no. I wonder what gods. These were with the, was it a mix of Greek and Indian gods? Hmm. That's very interesting. I can never say. Scythia, Sith. I can never say this name. But if you ever played Rome Total War on, um, on like the hardest difficulty, these guys were bastards, man. <laughs> I know that's a bit random, but you, you'll know what I'm on about if you played it on a... I think it's very hard. Or extreme. indo Scythian. Scythian. I wish I had some more input. I'm like what was going on here, but I just I just don't, and I'm not I'm not ah okay. So we're getting into words that I actually recognise now. Kashmir. Okay. Shit. 
shit, so Indopathia. Okay, so, excuse my ignorance, but I just assumed that India was doing its own thing for a long time. I know it's a very ignorant thing to think, but there's a lot of... I know that the Parthians weren't necessarily European. I think there was a... Well, what would you class them as? Mediterranean slash Asian? And we know where the, Gre the Greeks are. No, Kashmir is, okay. So, uh, I'm just trying, sorry, I'm trying to remember my geography. So, Pakistan's here, isn't it? Pakistan's here. And then Bangladesh is here. Okay, yeah. Cushions. This music's cool as fuck, by the way. See, you'd think I'd know more of this. My ex was Indian, but, you know, I know her family lived in the easternmost part of India along the... Uh, The Punjab River? Is it the Punjab River? Or is that somewhere else? I don't. I really don't want to butcher it, so I'm being careful with what I say. I don't want people to get pissed off. But yeah. Yeah, it's the... No, it was the westernmost part, sorry. It wasn't the eastern, it was the western, yeah. Like, north northwestern region. Vak Ataka. Vak Ataka. Okay, I've never heard that. Obviously, I've heard Bengali. There's Bangladesh over here. Got that. India's been around forever, man. What are the. I'm just trying to think of the oldest civilizations. I think the first one was like Mesopotamia. I'm pretty sure China was in there, India was in there. Um, yeah, I don't think the UK really come around to, well, Britannia really come around to like maybe a thousand BC. Obviously it was always there, but it wasn't really a civilised place, I guess. Okay, I, I get this go up there, this is the Chandra go up there. Get that. The Gupta Empire, yeah. And then he had a son, who's Chandra, who, we, oh, we talked about him in the uh, history of the entire world, he was on about Chandra Gupta and he had a son, who was also called Chandra Gupta, but had nothing to do with Chandra Gupta, something like that. I really thought the Tamil kings would have been mentioned, or maybe you just missed them. I don't think I did, though. What was that? There's an empire. A re rebellion. The Push Yam Tri Rebellion. The Hunna Empire, the Sindha Malwa. Kashmir's up here. I guess with India just being so big that it was impossible. I, w I wouldn't have expected anyone to control the entirety of it. It's just too big. As you know, it's the same problem that China had really. The population was huge and the landmass was too big. And you got. I'm just thinking in terms of infrastructure and agriculture. It would have been possible to like. 
I think the biggest one we saw stretch from about here to here. But I suppose it's just setting up all the infrastructure. By the time all that's done, you know, you've already got internal problems in policy. Maybe I'm chatting shit. <laughs> I don't think I am. I'm just thinking for the entirety of this, like, it's not really showing us global affairs or international affairs. I thought India would have had more regional problems. Like, and that's not me poking fun at the amount of regional problems they have now. But, I mean, in terms of India, for themselves, it appears, kind of kept to themselves for a lot of their history before we... I know... Uh, you know, Buddhism has already stretched far and wide. No, Buddhism, sorry, Hinduism has already stretched far and wide by now. But yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> I'm just going to quickly have a look at who India's neighbours are. India, global map. I should have done this on here, really, but it's just for me. Yeah, so, okay, so we got China here, Pakistan here, Bangladesh here, and Afghanistan just above. Okay, yeah, it's fine. It's just so I had the clear image in my head of who's around the other parts. Can't, I've kind of lost it now in terms of where we are. I'm just trying to think 900. This is probably about when the Vikings started raiding England. Just so I have a clear view of where about we are in history. I think the Vikings would have started raiding history. Uh, England. Frankia has an empire. Are we at? China becoming addicted to opium yet? No, we're nowhere near that, actually. Nowhere near that. Okay, so is this Pakistan being formed up here? No, this is still India. Right, my bad. Is it? I'm just thinking, like, kind of a bit of a selfish thought trail just while watching this. I don't, I don't think I have many Indian subscribers at all. Like, I don't ever remember seeing them on the geography of, like, my audience. So it'd be interesting if, like, this attracts, like, a more Indian audience. That'd be cool. happened up here and why do I feel like India is getting smaller
Oh, Jesus Christ. So the Sultan, that's, I'm guessing that's like the king, the Sultan. It's so the same as like England of a king, Japan as a Darmia. Right, got it. Ah, okay, it's all starting to modernize now. The Krishna, okay, I know where we are. If I'm completely honest, I'm not too sure. I know there's a, a lot of problems in Kashmir. Is it Pakistan claims it as their territory and India claim it as theirs? And I know there's similar problems in Bengal, but to be honest, I'm not completely clued up on them. And it's a big ask for someone to explain everything down in the comments. Um, but I know recently, well, I say recently, about probably about a year ago, didn't India officially claim Bengal are part as a part of India. I've, I'm not spreading misinformation there. I'm just curious. There's something along them lines. I can't remember. Or was it after a certain period of time? It was agreed that Bengal would be handing back to Pakistan. And I don't know. I can't remember. Fill me in if if you've got like a brief explanation of it. Is this an Indian tune? <laughs> oh shit. That took over quick. Oh, I've only just clocked this European factories thing here. How long have they been there? What minute are we at? 9.50? 9.55. How long have they been there? Ah, okay. From 15.23. Right. Right, okay. Oh shit, there's loads. You know what's funny? The amount of luck. With infrastructure and buildings and factories come influence. It's funny, between the divided regions down here, how much influence the European factories probably have, and up here in the Mughal Empire. The Mughal knows we're in control, so a limited amount of factories will do things. Like, in the entirety of this land, there's one, two, three, four, I'm not classing that, five, six. And then you have about 30 down here in the divided region, so I don't know if that's by chance or, you know. Whoa. Okay, now the Sikhs are here. Okay. Has India ever been at peace? I feel like you guys have been killing each other for ages. It's like Britain, really, but crazy. Oh, shit. Okay, where's the East India Company? I didn't see that. Is this this? Punjab. 
Burn up. Okay. Shan. Right. The British Raj. Ah, oh, okay. When did this come into it then? This has been in for a while and I'm just being ignorant. So it started off as the East India Trade Company. Which brought in the British Raj. Okay, well, that sounds about right. So these are the areas that were occupied the heaviest. Okay. Well, that was quick. So this is obviously European, European, Indian Independence Day. Yeah, shortly after World War Two. Yeah, because Indian contributions to World War One and Two was astounding. Like the amount of soldiers India lost was. F I'm trying to think of a word. I want to say phenomenal, but it wasn't a good thing. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, by being drafted by the British, but it, it, I think it's important to remember and that all the Indian soldiers weren't drafted like they were, the Indians are a warrior people, so like they were not happy to go to war, but you know, it was kind of within them to do so. I have no doubt that there was, you know, English influence in the draft, obviously, as there was for English soldiers as well, but you know, the Indians fought fiercely. Okay, so that was a different video. It's not actually what I was expecting. I thought it was going to be like an oversimplified sort of thing, but I can tell the amount of work and patience that went into that. Um, I think I asked a few questions during the course of it, so let me know in the comments and you know, like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. If you enjoyed it, definitely let me know. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed it. it. It was a bit of a struggle to track where we were in history sometimes because my knowledge of India's history isn't that great. So I was just associating it, associating it to outside things. But yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought. If you thought it was a shit reaction, tell me. <laughs> Please don't. Um, but yeah, man, take it easy. And uh, peace out.